here is how you should not explain your project to anyone especially in an interview okay and what is that way it's like the data was walmart sales data we fit a random forest model and we got an accuracy of 92 percent now this is what you did so what would be the alternate way of explaining this project so i just made it very short but you may be explaining in let's say three four more lines in addition to that today i am going to tell you what is the problem with this approach and an alternate way of explaining your project very important for freshers and newcomers in data science kindly ensure guys you watch till end okay so what is the problem with this approach right let's try to break down things and try to understand let me ask you a simple basic question right when you were a kid what did you like when our grandmothers and our nannies used to tell us stories we used to feel very good very happy right that somebody is telling us stories we always relate with stories so if you want to become a good communicator if you want to leave your good impression before the recruiter remember whatever you are talking should come in the form of the story in this approach there is no story there is no story so as a recruiter i lose my interest that is problem number 1 from the approach that i discussed now okay having said that let's try to understand what are the other problems as an interviewer when a candidate explains me a project like this okay so somebody comes and tells their project in 3 4 5 lines like the way i told you now now think about this guys i don't have anything to ask to the candidate i don't have any room for you know uh, creating a cross question i don't have any room for checking the depth of the knowledge of the candidate in this in this explanation that makes my life very very difficult so if you come and tell me this was the project this was the data this was my accuracy that is what i have done then what i have to do as an interviewer is i have to think and create questions for you which is not good you are making my life difficult and you are losing that opportunity of creating a good rapo creating a good flow of the communication so these are two main problems with this approach now the third impression that this approach gives is uh, the person who is talking right he or she is not very experienced person why because an experienced person will always bring the business case first they will always try to showcase how did they solve a particular business problem and then they will relate the solution to that when you just talk the solution right it does not create that link okay and anybody who is interviewing you if he or she understands business right they will be more interested in listening that part first what was the business problem and then the solution part you are directly talking the solution which you should not do so these are some of the problems that you must understand when you are a fresher when you are a newcomer in the industry right uh, you can make these kind of mistakes but i want to i want you to reduce that as much as possible now what are the good components of a good uh, good presentation of your project or good way of telling about your project remember these three four things guys that will help you a lot first is your explanation should always come in form of a story for example your business case business problem solution approach then the real solution then the del delivery and then the business benefits okay so mostly you should cover these five areas do not be in the hurry to finish your introduction of the project it's not good for you that is your your area of taking the interview in in the way you want okay so project explanation gives you freedom to take the interview in your area of expertise don't lose that opportunity remember always talk in terms of story second never miss the business part for example i mentioned two things here what was the business problem and what was the value delivered these two things must be there in your project explanation remember this is very very crucial and important you might be talking to somebody very senior in the interview it becomes very important there okay and third you should always leave some room for the interviewer to ask cross questions to you okay so interviewer should have a Uh, area where they can go and dig deeper for example i'll just go and say that 
uh, we used certain optimizers okay then interviewer have the liberty of asking why this optimizer why not that optimizer or if i say i use logistic regression interviewer has the liberty to ask why not random forest some 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 gaps you have to leave where interviewer can dig deep and ask you questions okay apart from that try to always create a rapport with the interviewer try to always have the communication in such a way that it should not sound like an interview it, sh it should sound more uh, more like a chat or more like a you know smooth communication where you are talking something they are asking something you are explaining something don't think that somebody is throwing lot of questions in you and on you and your job is to give answer to all these questions don't think like that okay so try to make it a communication way now i have a reference for you right here where where i told it's little old video but still very relevant where i told how i explain my project you can see the link here and you can see the link in the description as well please go ahead and see how to explain project in your interview now is that the best explanation mostly no probably no but is that a way we should think about explaining it yes that will give you a very good uh, understanding of how you can go about explaining your project don't make the mistake of finishing it fast not relating to business not leaving any room for asking cross question not sounding an experienced person and end of it not creating a great story all these will make your explanation great and will increase your chances of getting selected i'll see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care